Chris Swecker, former assistant FBI director. Chris, thanks for being here. At its core, Chris, isn't this the equivalent of somebody, quite frankly, planning evidence on an innocent person? Well, I, I liken it to Watergate in the sense that they the, that uh, Sussman got his hands on information he wasn't entitled to, but rather than burglarize the information or break into the uh, to get the information, the night watchman let him in. I mean, the, the keepers of this tech information uh, gave that information to them. We weren't our, our Sussman was not entitled to that information. Then he kind of turned its on turned it, turned it on its head cast it in a very different light, in a false light, and then pass it on to two intelligence agencies, the FBI and the CIA. So th this was information that was, was basically uh, they were not entitled to, and they provided false information. They, they doctored up the information and pumped it into the FBI to try to predicate an investigation on an opponent. Not only that, they used government contractors, people in the private sector at a university who were working on a government contract to analyze the information. That's fraud against the government. Yeah, to put it plainly, uh, the allegation is that a, the Clinton campaign and a tech company were spying on a sitting president in the White House. Um, where does this go from here? Who will be held accountable? I think that everybody watching is wondering, will, this, will Hillary Clinton eventually be held accountable? Well, first, uh, it's a clear indication that John Durham is, is still working very hard at this. I think he's been delayed somewhat by trying to get his hands on international evidence, which is always difficult, electronic evidence, et cetera. But, I, you know, it, it's hard to tell how, how high this will go. And he's, he's, he's in, in this for not just to indict low-level people if they're responsible. The idea is to work his way up the ladder, so, you know, like they do in any investigation. So I'm not sure where it's going to go from here, but, I, you know, I suspect there's going to be some mid-level people that they target next mm -hmm. and try to flip. We'll, we'll see where that goes. I mean, I, I, what disturbs me the most is the way the two agencies gobbled this information up and didn't seem to question it or the source of the information. Surely they could, they could source this information better than they did. They, and I feel like we had some ideologues at the head of both agencies at wow. that time. Chris, there's an ancillary <clears throat> issue here that I know a number of us are wondering. How did this company, albeit with granted access to a degree, penetrate the White House, yeah. which I would imagine, from a cybersecurity perspective, should be the most secure in the world, if not our entire country? Well, they, they, had, they had the help of this tech company. You know, even the most secure um, tech systems still have some third-party involvement. And in this case, it was, it was well, I'm not going to say the name of the company, but it was a tech company that had, had the, was sort of the keeper of the DNS, the domain names. So they, they analyzed, they, they got a data dump or several on that information and, again, used the government contractors to analyze it. So there's a lot of things wrong here. I, I see a lot of potential charges, mail fraud, wire fraud, depending on how the information was communicated. I mean, this is going somewhere. Yeah, and you have you know, John Radcliffe saying the exact same thing, that he thinks that there's already enough evidence to indict multiple people, so certainly more to come on this front. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.